The Syrian National Coalition have no legitimacy. This is a coalition that was formed by Western powers to serve their interests in the Levant and in the region. And uh, empowering them uh, by stealing the country's resources is contrary to law. It's contrary to international law. The only legal entity right now in Syria is the legitimate government. Now, so uh, you cannot trade with armed groups. They do not represent the interests of the Syrian people. They are, most of them, we're talking about 29 different countries fighting in Syria. Today, a report uh, came out that stated that 17,000 uh, jihadists are now in Syria, and half of them, almost half of them, come from Chechnya. Now, uh, these people have no right to those uh, resources. And uh, they, it are, they are not legal entities, and therefore this is absurd. So um, who has a, what is, is completely irrelevant here. The point is, uh, this is not, these are not legal entities. These are terrorist groups. And they are terrorist groups even according to U.S. State Department reports. If you read the All State right. Department's reports uh, on Syria, they admit that... These groups are terrorist groups. Now, FSA and Jafat right, and other uh, Western and Gulf uh, state-funded groups have no legitimacy whatsoever. Right, but regardless of what and anyone not, thinks... I, I, it's very, easy to, accuse, I, I, it's I very easy to accuse people who, are, who tell the truth of being pro-government. I am Irish. I have absolutely no interest in Bashar al-Assad as a leader. I'm looking at the facts, and the facts are you're talking about I think you terrorist just, groups right. I, I think who are now trying to get control of the country's resources. Honestly. Garoid Okoman, I take your, your, your point uh, uh, about that, but regardless of, of what anyone thinks of these groups, the fact is that they are in control uh, of a lot of these uh, oil fields in parts of Syria for better or for worse, and for that reason, they are in a better position than anyone else to uh, win the battle of hearts and minds among the, the local populations. Uh, there. Uh, is anyone in a position to challenge that? They're terrorizing the local population. They've been doing it now for two years. These are war crimes. And these are war criminals. Well, that's, that's, that's your this opinion, but that's certainly not the opinion of others. They have no legitimacy these people. Let, I'm gonna let, I'm gonna let, it's uh, not I'm my opinion. I'm it's a matter of... I can't believe you're hearing this. The guy's an Irishman. We're talking you don't about, about Saudi about jihadists, you don't know anything Chechen... About politics. Well, you, and you're, you're, not, to, you're not used to hearing the truth, are you? All right. Garoid, Garoid, just hold on a second. Just let, the truth, just let our guest in Istanbul respond for a moment. This, this is outrageous. This is, this, the, you know, you have this Irishman claiming to be, you know, uh, just, uh, you know, reading the fact. He knows nothing Arguments about, about hominem nothing about the facts on is the irrelevant you here. You don't know anything. Let's talk because about if facts. you did, you wouldn't be saying. That what you're spouting is you. absolute rubbish. I'm sorry. You have no idea what you're talking about. And no, you're just calm, sort of calm down and let's talk about aside. facts. No, 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 look, you are not Syrian, you have no idea, we are Syrians. You're not we used to hearing place, facts, at least at You're very, not used to oh, hearing we facts. We are Syrians oh, and second. we are better no placed no to make decisions heard, about no where we wish to be, and we don't need time. an Irishman just, to just tell let, us that. Just let, uh, just let uh, Amr respond, and then I'll turn back to you, Geroid. I've responded, I don't think I need to say much more than I've said. The, the right. man is, is, is completely off the, off, off, off the scale here. He's ignorant, basically he is ignorant. Yes. Geroid, go ahead. He's very ignorant, thank you, Anas. That's it. Yeah, yeah, that's it. You know, I don't have to say anymore. He's just hijacking the whole, the whole episode, the whole program, and he's just, you know, saying the the regime's propaganda. I'm allowing you to speak. I'm giving you loads of time to speak. I, it's very amusing to hear the two of you uh, and your hysterical outbursts. Look, uh, you cannot, under international law, you cannot deal with armed groups. Okay, states. No. There are, there's a protocol under international law. Look, I'll quote it to you. For example, the 1962 resolution. 1803 on permanent sovereignty states violations of the rights of peoples to sovereignty over the national wealth and resources is contrary to the spirit and principles of the Charter of the UN and hinders the development of international cooperation and the maintenance of peace. Okay? Now that's the UN. That's the legal position on this. All okay. Right. Now, what about the UN Declaration of 1981? What's the legal position on it? What's the legal position on the dictator of intervention people? What's and interference. The legal Excuse me, don't interrupt me, sir. I didn't interrupt you. His cities. What is Did the legal I position about somebody who imprisons 250,000 people and they're disappeared and we know nothing about them? What is the legal position when members of the Shabiha, the regime's the legal own position militias, is go when you into villages and massacre terrorists. them in front of us? All right. What is the position on any of these things? The, what is the, the position on the that has ruled Syria with a rod of iron for
for the last 50 years and people like ourselves have I'm been imprisoned, tortured and, 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 and basically driven out of our home. All right, gentlemen, let's just... what you're talking about. Let's just... Let's just... Let's just cool ahead. Let's just let cool ahead. The two of you are obviously not going to agree on this. I want to... I want to move on to another... I want to move on to another issue, if I may. Hold on a second, Geroy. Let, let's just move on to something else for, for, for a moment now. No, I, if I, I want to turn let me back... respond in two seconds. All right, just then, briefly, seconds. briefly. No. The, legal po just, the legal position is, if here today in Paris, if we had armed gangs going around with Kalashnikovs trying to take over the city, I tell you what the legal position would be, and I tell you what the legal action of the French government would be. They would send in the Air Force... We would have the gendarmerie on the streets, we would have the military on the streets, and they would arrest them, uh, and they would kill them if necessary. That's all right. because states have the right to defend themselves, and that is the legal position, okay? Now, you can talk about right. torture all you want. Look, uh, that's, well, first of all, that's not true. Um, they have been using, in fact, and, and uh, the New York Times has even admitted this. I mean, if you read through the lines in the press, uh, they tell you these things. Um, they've been using food as a weapon in Aleppo, okay? These people use food as a weapon. They terrorize the local population. They, in fact, they even boast about it. You can go on YouTube. You can watch it. They love it. They put it on for their friends. They put it on for their, in order to, to entice more right. people to come and join them. Okay? Right, we've, I we've, haven't have seen to... one crime proved yet by the, by the uh, by, uh, one crime that has been proved all right, we've got by to leave Syrian it there. We could certainly spend a lot, lot, a lot longer talking thousands, about this, but unfortunately, literally thousands unfortunately, of crimes by the, by the so-called We are out of time. I want to thank all three uh, of our guests: uh, Anas El Abda in Manchester, Gorod Okolmein in Paris, and Amin Al Azm in Istanbul. Thank you very much for your time. And thank you for joining us. Remember, Al Jazeera has extensive coverage of what's going on in Syria, not just on this program, but in our news broadcasts and online at aljazeera.com. I'm Hazem Seeker. Thanks for watching Inside Syria. Bye for now.